Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia and this is Style X Felicia. And today I will be showing y'all how to make your YouTube intro using Keynote, which is on Apple devices or on your MacBook. So if you are new or returning, make sure to subscribe and let's get into the video. I'm gonna hit the play button at the top left hand corner. So now y'all can just watch it play out. This is my first, or one of my first initial intros. So this is how it looked before. I'm just gonna add a new slide. And with this new slide, what you wanna do is you wanna put the title. So this will be the title of your channel. So for me, I'm just gonna put the title of my channel. After that, you're just going to highlight it and pick a font that you like. Now I have many different fonts. Want a video on how I get special fonts. I will include that. Just make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that's what y'all wanna see. Now I'm just gonna center the title. And now for the subtitle, this is what you want to put as what your channel is about. For me, my channel is about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So that's what my subtitle is going to be. And now since the subtitle is bigger than the actual title, I'm just going to shrink it a little bit. And then for my title, I'm going to make it bigger. And all of these functions are under the format and text. Next, I'm going to go under format again, and I'm going to pick the background color. Now, the color is really dark, so I'm going to hit the little circle next to it with all the colors of the rainbow. And I'm just going to move it closer to the center so that I can get a lighter blue. And then I'm just gonna do that one more time so that it's the blue that I would like. Okay, so now I have a background color. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to the top and hit media, and then I'm gonna hit choose. Now I just picked out a few images that I already had saved on my computer, and I'm going to use those one of the images that I already have saved is my little photo with the title of my channel. So I'm just gonna replace the title with my photo and title. Now I'm just gonna move everything around. As you can see, I added a subscribe button, so I'm gonna move that up. And then I went back to media and I chose another photo to add in. So this image is for the social media. So I just double tap it just so that I can crop it and resize it. Then I'm going to take the subtitle and I'm going to copy and paste it and then add a new text that has my social media title. And now I'm just adjusting some more and making everything look like how it did in the original one. Now I'm gonna go back and look at my original intro and then I'm gonna go back to the demo intro. And then one more time, I'm gonna add in a couple images on the side just so that I can have a similar effect to the intro that I had previously. And then under format and arrange, I'm just gonna take one of the images and I'm just gonna flip it to the side so that they're both facing outside of the intro. And 
Now this is a fun part. This is when I'm going to start animating the intro. So first I'm gonna click on the first thing that I wanna animate and then I'm gonna go to animate. And then under build in, you're going to add an effect. For this effect, it's going to be the sparkle effect. So I'm gonna scroll down until I see sparkle and I'm gonna click on it. Then I'm gonna go back to the previous intro and see what other effects that I used. So now I'm just gonna add in more effects. So for the subtitle, I'm going to do the effect that's called Trace. And I'm just gonna click on Trace and then see how it looks. Then for the subscribe button, I'm going to add an effect and I'm gonna do Sparkle. For the social media icons, I'm going to do sparkle again and then for the title of my twitter and instagram i'm just going to do trace now for my images i'm going to click both of them and i do that by hitting click shift and then i'm going to make both of them appear now after you have all of your animations picked out you're going to click build order at the bottom and then you're just going to see all of them as you can see they all say on click so we're going to change that the first one we're going to click after transition then for the subtitle after build one then for the subscribe button after build two then for the social medias after that next build and so on and so forth Then for my first image, I'm gonna put after build five. And then for the second image, I'm going to click on with build six so that both of those images appear at a similar pace. Then I'm gonna hit the delay button and then I'm just going to delay the second image a little bit so it appears a lot slower. And then you just hit the preview button to preview how everything looks. Okay, looks pretty good. And then the next thing I do is I just close out of it. And then I go back up to the top left and hit play. And that's how all the built-in effects look on the big screen. Now, after that, we need to work on the build out effects. So click on your first image, you hit, you click, animate, build out. And we're gonna use the effect crumble. And now you're gonna click on any images that you want to crumble. Make sure to hit build out every time because these are build out options. After you've picked all your build out options, you're gonna go to build order at the bottom. And then click your first item that's a build out and then change it to after your last couple builds. For me, my last couple builds were my two images on the side, so I'm just gonna go from there and then go like that. Any items that you want to crumble together, you're just gonna put it with, and any items that you want to crumble after, you're just gonna click after. And make sure none of your items are left on click, because then it requires you to click on those items while the video is playing. And then lastly, I'm just gonna preview 
And as I can see, I missed one item. So I'm just going to put that with the last build before it. And then we're going to preview one more time. And now it's perfect. Everything crumbled like it needed to. So now I'm going to click the X button and then I'm going to play everything over once again. And that's how everything looked. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to file at the top left and then we're going to save what we've made. My images is already saved, but I'll just save again for the sake of this video. Then I'm going to go back up to file and then I'm going to roll over to export to and then I'm going to click on movie. Now I'm just going to change the next slide after and the next build after to zero because I don't need those delayed any seconds. And I'm going to go to 1080p for the resolution so that the quality looks better. And then after that, you're just going to click next. Since I already have my intro saved, I'm not going to click next. And that's how you do it. And then if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and hit the bell to be notified when my next video comes out.